An essential part of nutrient management planning is knowing the nutrient content of the sources that are available to meet crop requirements. In this tutorial, you will learn how to enter manure and biosolids into the Nutrient Sources tab. In the Nutrient screen, open up the Nutrient Sources tab. And here, you can enter all information on the manure and fertilizer typically used on your farm. Before we begin, it is very important to note that the nutrient sources you add are for a single cropping year. However, as crop years are added, the nutrient sources from previous years are carried forward automatically. Let's start with adding manure sources. Start by clicking the plus sign above the manure and bio source data table. Select a source type from the drop down menu. You can then leave the default name for this manure type or type in a new name to help keep your sources organized. Click Save. Typical first year available fertilizer equivalent nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and sulfur contents for the selected manure type will automatically appear, along with the typical dry matter content. Fertilizer equivalents are in pounds per ton of solid manure or pounds per 1,000 gallon of liquid manure. The source for these values is from the University of Wisconsin-Madison Research and can be found in the UW Extension publication A2809 Nutrient Application Guidelines for Field, Vegetable, and Fruit Crops in Wisconsin. Manure nitrogen availability varies by application method due to nitrogen losses from ammonia volatilization. Nitrogen surface is for unincorporated manure and is less than that for nitrogen incorporated, which is for applications incorporated by tillage within three days of application. Nitrogen availability for nitrogen injected from manure that is injected or incorporated within one hour is the highest. If you have obtained a manure analysis, you can enter it right over the typical values. Be sure to include the analysis date also. Enter the known annual volume for each manure type. You can use the Manure Production Estimator subtab to estimate these. Watch our tutorial on the Manure Production Estimator tab to learn more about how to estimate annual manure volumes on your farm. Repeat this process until you have all nutrient sources on your farm added. Two other buttons to quickly review are the Delete button and the Modify Manure List button. If you would like to remove a manure or biosolid source from the list, just click on the row then click on the red minus sign to delete it. If you have used this source in your planning, a dialog box will open and show you where you have used this source and ask you to confirm the delete. The second button is the edit or merge manure slash biosolid list button. When you click on this button, a dialog box will open with some explanatory text. This function is more advanced, so for most users, it won't be needed. There is one more function that can be interesting to use if you want to calculate the value of the manure and biosolids in dollars. You just enter the current cost of the fertilizers listed and the dollar value of a ton of solid manure or 1,000 gallons of liquid manure will show in the unit value column and that of the annual production will show in the total value column. This is the end of the tutorial on entering manure and biosolids in the Nutrient Sources tab.